Dark Deity. That is the story-based RPG focused on turn-based battles. You are set in a world of Tarazel and you lead a team of four students in the Bergstedt Military Academy who are shut down on the mysterious order of King Warwick. The rule of Kingdom of Delia is preparing the break of Millennium Old Treaty and Bergstedt students make to find cannon fooder. However, these four soldiers are destined for more than just acting as an unwilling meat for another grinder. The core of this game are handcrafted turn-based combat scenarios spread out across 28 chapters with each battle lasting from 30 to 60 minutes. You can assemble the squad from 30 playable characters each with their own background, personality and motivations. Then train them and pick from many distinct classes with their own iconic attacks and skills. You have a six base classes and then you evolve them furthermore. You can also outfit each team with hundreds of weapons and spells from simple blades and missiles to ancient artifacts that produce world ending magic. Each character can equip up to four different type of weapons within power, finesse, focus and balance and switch between them freely anytime during the battle. Defeat in this game doesn't mean permadeath, but there is a price to pay. Every time a warrior falls, it means your squad is weakened, but you have a three difficulty setting that you can choose at the beginning. You can also make characters bond together on the battlefield and their relations evolve through 400 individual conversations. Each bonding gets you a slight bar if they are fighting close together on the battlefield. You can see how the game looks on the screen, so the only question I ask is, should you play it? But before we go any further, you should know that this game is free for a whole week from Epic Games Store starting 17th of November. And we have you all the weekly free games from them, so if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Dark Deity is actually a Kickstarter game that was created, taking heavy inspiration from the Fire Emblem series. Balance and map design is really important in these games, so is the interesting battle animations. So I'm really glad that they did that right, and it is for me definitely the best part of the game. What is not so interesting is the story itself and how it's presented. Reading through dialogues that are happening in between battles are not fully voiced. You usually hear only a few sentences from each character, that's about it. Combat is obviously very repetitive, but it is easy to pick up and is so much more deeper than it looks at the first sight. Characters are interesting, especially first four, and the more you survive with them, the more you get attached to them. But they do not get as deep as some other games of the similar genre. I think to fully enjoy this game you really need a vivid imagination which is supported only by a few high quality visuals of each character. Thanks to that, battles are easy to orient in and pixel art animation of fights are excellently executed. I would normally say go and play Fire Emblem instead, that is if you have a chance to do that, but since it's not on PC, this is a pretty good replacement, that is, only if you are here for the battles itself, since they sometimes feel disconnected from the story and characters, and for that personally for myself, I will say no to this game. But developers, please continue making games, I heard you're a very small team, so good job, and I'm sure I will like some of your future projects. Meanwhile, I recommend you to play Into the Breach that we also reviewed if you are into turn-based pixel art strategies. This one especially is very unique. Check it out next and see you later.